My guest today is Robert Edison, who's the world's greatest living aphorist. Robert, hello. Tell me, first of all, what is an aphorism? I would define an aphorism as a pithy and witty and often funny one-liner. Fantastic. I like the sound of that. Can you give me a few examples? Yes. Beware the surgeon who asks a girl for her hand. Very wise, yes. Another one, another one. I, I <laughs> um, Don't reveal your secrets within earshot of your parrot. Yeah, I can see a lot of pirates one. moving their heads for that one. Another one, another one. Uh, spontaneity is best rehearsed. Absolutely. So when did you first start writing these? Just over 20 years ago. And what made you start doing that? Because, you know, most people would keep a diary. You just suddenly decided you were going to start every day writing down these thoughts. It's interesting you mentioned the word diary because I regard them as diaries, but not in the traditional sense. Looking back on my earlier diaries in my youth, all I could do was yawn. I wasn't remotely interested 40 years later in whether I'd changed from butter to peanut butter at Waitrose. So these I call my thought diaries, which do interest me. And I've been, what started me off was when I wrote my first play, Commanding Voices, which had a longer than average run up here in, in London, in Hampstead. And I saw four one-liners and I thought, why, why don't I, I don't have to write a play to write one-liners? Why can't I do them as one-liners? And I've been doing this ever since. Up to October four years ago, I was averaging four original aphorisms a day. I'm now averaging six. So where do you actually write them? Anywhere. But do you have a book that, that you have lying by the side of your bed or something? You think, oh, I'll write that one down in that book. <laughs> I have a pad like this every in every room in the house. And of course, where, wherever I go, I have it in my pocket. So whenever in the 24-7 time scale, I get an idea, out comes my pen, write it down. And then in the evening, I transpose them uh, to what passes for an Excel table on my, on my computer. And my first book of aphorisms, Wisdom and Wordplay, um, appeared just, uh, just under three years ago now. And I'm now planning 32 more books of comparable size and quality. And the beauty is they're all written. And I love this idea that you, so at the start of the day, you're in creative mode and you're writing them on your pad and then you're leaving them around the house for yourself later in the day when you're more in sort of admin mode to put them into some <laughs> extra sheet. How, how right you are. All my friends coming, this is pre-lockdown, pre um, wherever they go, they see these, these little sheets with an aphorism on it all over, all over the place, on, in the basement, in the kitchen, my bedroom on the stairs they're quite used to it now so they become tightrope walkers they mustn't walk on them. and then i collect them all in the evening and then transfer them via keyboard to my to my computer and they are brilliant and i know lots of people enjoy them but so you're 87 now you started doing these in your 60s what what were you doing before that then well i began in academia teaching at university lecturing at university I had a consultancy at the Foreign Office. I did a lecture tour of America. And in the end, I opted for print journalism, as it was in those days, still is to a lesser extent. And I've been doing that ever since. I, I suppose I moved from sideways, from print journalism to the social media about 15 years ago. And like I say, that is your first book of aphorisms, but there's, you've got a lot more planned. Well, what I plan, Jeremy, is to bring out a book of, as I mentioned, of comparable size and quality to a wisdom and wordplay um, every three months. So for a year, uh, eight years, by 2028, I, I aim to have published 32 books, purely of aphorisms, some illustrated, some not. Well, that is going to be phenomenal. And I know that's going to bring a lot of pleasure and a lot of wisdom 
to a lot of people. Robert Edison, thanks for joining us. Thank you.